Hey, hey, Marcus House with you here. Over the last 24 hours, we've had a little bit of bad news. SpaceX suffered an anomaly in its Crew Dragon capsule while conducting an engine test at the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. Now, there is already a lot of assumptions and a lot of news threads and videos going up making all sorts of guesstimates about how far back the crew missions are going to be pushed because of this issue. And this is all before we even know anything about what's actually happened. Now, more than likely by the time you see this video, there is probably more information out there. So obviously we're reporting on this information as it comes to hand. But what I want to talk to you about today is what I think could potentially be a reason to not panic here. Now, I don't have any more information about this whole anomaly than anyone else. Let's just remember this though. The Crew Dragon completed its full demo mission 100% successfully, no problems in any way. A lot of the comments are pointing to the Super Draco engines, however, in this low resolution footage released, we can see some interesting things. To me, it doesn't appear that the engines even began to fire before the explosion, and I've read in a few locations that there was a countdown before the explosion. Now this means that the Super Dracos potentially hadn't even begun to fire yet. My best guess here at this point is that somewhere in the initial systems, perhaps due to the stresses of re-entry and splashdown, a leak or a rupture has caused the fuel to mix in an unintended way. The Crew Dragon of course uses hypergolic fuels which will ignite spontaneously when mixing. Now, they use these systems as they don't need an ignition source of any kind, so they can be quite attractive from that point of view. So this, to me, is a potential area for the failure in my mind. Now, I really doubt at this point that it's due to the Super Dracos themselves, but even if the Super Draco engines were involved, let's just look at that scenario for a moment. The Super Draco engines were designed way back in 2012, and they've been tested and fired many hundreds, probably thousands of times. Now, here's the thing. NASA and SpaceX want to make sure that the Crew Dragon vehicle is as safe as it can be, right? So who knows what tests they may have been conducting here. Were they just regular tests or were they really trying to push some boundaries to see where failure limits may be? Now, don't get me wrong here, I'm certainly not suggesting that the tests were designed to make the Dragon explode, obviously not. But think about this for a moment. The Crew Dragon vehicle is the same vehicle pulled from the ocean after its very successful demo flight. There's a lot of untested scenarios in trying to reuse the Crew Dragon after a splashdown. And as we all know, salt water can cause a great deal of problems with a vehicle like this. And let's just remember as well, future flights with the actual crew are going to be using brand new Crew Dragon capsules with the potential of the Crew Dragons to be reused subsequent times only for cargo missions. Well, that's the current proposal at least. Now, at this point, we've not heard anything directly from SpaceX or Elon Musk. We have, however, heard from NASA with Jim Bridenstine tweeting out that NASA has been notified about the results of the SpaceX static fire test and the anomaly that occurred during that final test. Now, they're working closely to ensure they safely move forward with the commercial crew program. So to sum up here, let's not panic and throw wild assumptions about SpaceX's crew missions being delayed well into 2020 or 2021. We don't even know the reason behind the anomaly just yet. Yes, of course, this is potentially heartbreaking. And yes, we are all worried about the future of the Crew Dragon missions, but let's not jump to conclusions just yet. We'll find out over the upcoming days exactly what happened and how SpaceX and NASA are going to address the issue. I do have to say though, let's just count our very lucky stars that the Crew Dragon didn't explode while attached to the International Space Station. As it is, that is potentially the most frightening scenario I see with this anomaly. Space is risky and there is a danger no matter what we do. Everyone, of course, just wants to make sure that it is as safe as it can be. So I'm interested to know what you think about all this. Please do let me know in the comments below. And of course, share any upcoming information as it comes to light. I highly recommend following the SpaceX subreddit to get the most up-to-date information. It's a terrific resource. And a huge thank you to everybody that runs that particular subreddit. It is terrific work that you do there. In the tile in the top left today, I've linked my video talking about the Crew Dragon mission. You might be interested in uh, what's gone beforehand, before this anomaly. In the top right is my latest video, and in the bottom right, a video that YouTube has chosen from my channel just for you. Thank you all for watching, and we'll see you all in the next video.